Is he saying that if he doesn't achieve his negotiating strategy, he will recommend uh, the part-time chancellor can just uh, hang on a minute. Is he saying? Is he saying? Is he saying if he doesn't achieve his negotiating strategy, he will recommend Britain leaves the European Union? Well, well, first of all, it's very welcome. He's accepting the premise that the Conservatives will win the next election. <laughs> and, uh, and interestingly, and interestingly, not raising the fact that the unemployment figures are down once again today. Our employment is up by 90,000 this quarter. And the rate of job growth last year was the fastest since 1989. But I answered his question very clearly. I want to see a strong Britain in a reformed Europe. We have a very clear plan. We want to reset the relationship. We will hold that referendum. We'll recommend that resettlement to the British people. But the question now is for him. Has he got a clue what he'd do? Speaker, the Speaker, he's had six... Well, uh, the, the clues in the title, Prime Minister's questions, he's supposed to be answering the questions. Now, 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 he's had six months, he's had six months, he's had six months to think about this. It's not too much to ask. The right honourable member for Rushcliffe, who's not here, he would say unequivocally that he would vote yes in a referendum. The children's secretary, who's hiding away down there, uh, he has briefed. He has briefed that he wants us to leave the European Union. I'm just asking the Prime Minister a straight question: In the referendum, can he guarantee that he will vote yes in an in-out referendum? Yes, I support Britain's membership of a reformed European Union. You don't only. Only the leader of the opposition would go into negotiations expecting to fail. We go into negotiations knowing what's best for Britain. But let me put it to him again. We now have a very clear approach, a renegotiation and then a referendum. What is his answer? Let me tell him. He's meant to lead the opposition and you can't fight something with nothing. I, I say, first of all, the reason the people uh, behind him are cheering is not because they want to vote yes in an in-out referendum. It's because they want to vote no. That is the reality for the Prime Minister. Now, look, he still hasn't answered the question. He still hasn't answered the question. We're, we, we're, let, let's put it another way and give him another chance. We know from his speech this morning that he wants to go off and negotiate for fairness and flexibility and motherhood and apple pie in Europe. Can he name, can he name one thing, just one thing, that if he doesn't get, he'll recommend leaving the European Union? I don't want Britain to leave the European Union. I want Britain to reform the European Union. Uh, we have set out the whole areas where we want to... Order. Members are shouting their heads off at the Prime Minister. They must desist. Let's hear the answers. The Prime Minister. We've been, we've been very clear about what we want to see change. The whole series of areas, social legislation, employment legislation, environmental legislation, where Europe has gone far too far. And we need to properly safeguard the single market. We also want to make sure that ever closer union doesn't apply to the United Kingdom. These are the things that we're fighting for. But let let me put it to him again. We want a renegotiation and then a referendum. What does he want? Or doesn't he know? Mr. Ed Miliband. So, so Mr. Speaker, four hours, four hours since the big speech, he can't answer the most basic question of all. Whether he's, whether he's for yes 